Atkinson recently appointed a committee to oversee an expansion project, but this is causing some concerns. Mike Dandria spoke with the Stark County Commissioner to find out just what challenges there are. The city of Dickinson and Stark County are working together to add an extra two-mile radius to the city known as the Extraterritorial Zone, or ETZ. The ETZ expansion primarily targets the Theodore Roosevelt Regional Airport and Patterson Lake. Although it sounds like an annexation of the surrounding area, it's not quite that simple. Take your ETZ, which is really a set of rules and regulations on uh, land development and land use outside of your incorporated city limits. In short, this allows the county and the city to work together when it comes to making decisions on development and use. A committee overseeing the project was appointed on October 6th and includes a representative from Parks and Rec as well as a representative from the nearby airport. It also includes two representatives from the city of Dickinson and two representatives from Stark County. The purpose? To uh, create a proposed plan that would be then submitted to the Dickinson PNZ for their review and then they could forward that to the uh, city of Dickinson's full commission. A concern within the committee includes the Marathon Wind Energy Project, which originally is under the jurisdiction of the county. Marathon has a proposed turbine site near Patterson Lake, but under the two-mile ETZ proposal, it would not be included in the joint jurisdiction. Uh, if the city would go to the full four-mile jurisdiction, it would pull that uh, refinery into the city's ETZ. The four-mile jurisdiction refers to the North Dakota City Zoning Regulations. The regulations state that a city with 5,000 to 25,000 residents may extend their ETZ by two miles. According to the Census Bureau, the city of Dickinson has just shy of 23,000 residents within the city limits. Extending the city's services leaves those in the ag community wondering how it will affect their day-to-day -day operations. Property that is zoned ag is zoned ag. It doesn't uh, uh, make a difference whether it's incorporated in the city limits, the city ETZ, or the rural uh, areas of the county. Projects like this have been done in the past, including in the city of Bismarck back in 2013. At the time, the city had just over 63,000 residents, allowing, by zoning regulations, to expand the full four miles outside the city limits. Ben Arith, Community Development Director for Bismarck, says the private sector may face more risk with joint jurisdiction. However, from my observation, it's the negotiated boundary um, has seemingly worked, worked well and efficiently from, from, a, from a permitting and a review standpoint. Committee meetings are to continue as needed until a resolution is achieved. Reporting in Dickinson for KX News, I'm Mike Dandria. Messer said a common misconception is that this will impact the finances of both the city and the county. He emphasized that this will not impact any citizens' taxes.